Welcome back to Undertale, the game about making friends. And... Sure, that's a friend. Is this the dummy from the beginning? It's a living. Oh, it's a living. That kind of it's a living. I thought he was saying that he was alive? I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. Where's my friend? This is my friend. Sup? Oh, you really came. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. It's kind of me, actually. When I invite people over, I half expect them not to show up, like 90% of the time. Which would be more than half, so I guess I could just say I expect them to not show up. Anyway, I love this ghost. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Hell yeah! You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. It's okay, best friend. I mean, second best friend. I can't, uh, turn my back on Papyrus that quickly. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. I like to think that the music that's playing right now is coming out of Napstablook's headphones. Um, he is such a good friend, and I could do this for hours and ascend into a greater being. Really just become one with the universe. These are the stars. This is life. And here we are. Together. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, you done? Oh, that was nice. Thank you. What do you watch on TV, Naftablook? There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Yeah? You're not gonna show me? No, he doesn't have the confidence. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. The computer's internet browser. This, um... He's a good boy. The CD is labeled Gouladay Music. Sure. I, I can barely hear this myself, so I'm sure it's not even showing up in the video. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. How about this one? Not sure I'm on par with uh, Naps of the Book's musical taste, but that's fine. Is this your snail farm? <laughs> um, you sure this isn't Toriel's house? Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So snaileth Sam Buell. Is this a snail? I'm not... Okay. Really? Okay, if this is a snail, I'm a little concerned about Toriel eating them. That's basically a businessman in a snail shell. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blook Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Who? Anyway. Well. I wonder how long they've been at it. Do you want to play a game? It's called the Thunder Snail. When snail the snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's ten gold to play. Ten gold? I don't know. Maybe it's just G. Maybe it's just like... G I don't know. I can't think of any other G words. I don't think there are any other words that start with G. Anyway, I'm gonna mash the Z button. Come on, snail, you can do- You're not- you're not even trying. You're really not. Oh god, he's on fire! My snail is on fire! <laughs> it's okay, stop being encouraged, it's fine, it's fine, you can stay there. 
You don't need to be encouraged. Don't be on fire. Okay. I just killed the snail. Looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Well, she's fine. It doesn't matter. That's their whole life racing over and over. Anyway. Let's go to... Temi... I guess Temi Village would be where Napsablook lived. There was a little house over there that I couldn't go in, but oh, whatever. The the door to the left um, is just the way back. It like, you know, it goes back to dog residue. Anyway, um, yeah, the door to the left just goes back to where I already was. Oh, hey, a shop. Can I sell to you? Trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though, I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Alright, well, thanks. All right, maybe I should investigate that. I looked around a little off screen, but I didn't find it. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wah ha ha. This is, this is Waluigi, by the way. In turtle form, apparently. What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? That's the Delta Ruin, the symbol of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wah ha ha. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. I imagine that's what he sounds like. Oh, what? Emblems meaning new? That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Oh, yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who's seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking of taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. Yeah. Fair. King Fluffy Buns, is that actually his name? Is he one of the little rabbit people from uh, Snowden? Oh, they're like snow rabbits. Hmm? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, it's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. I wonder how much backtracking there is in this game. Undyne, yeah, she's the local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. Watch your back, kid. And buy some items. Might just save your hide. Yeah, alright, fair enough. Not that I really have any room for anything. Invincible longer. Oh, that's awesome! Because I don't attack. This lowers your attack, but increases your invincibility frames. Which is exactly what I need. Um, speed up in battle. No, 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 all right, that's fine. That's all I need from this guy. Thanks. I like that there's items like that. I was kind of worried that all the weapons would be totally useless to me because I don't actually fight. Um, I am going to start wanting to sell stuff, though. But whatever. Temi Village is kind of what I'm looking for. But I don't know. I'm clicking Z on everything. I guess it's a secret? But, I don't know. Whatever. On to Hotland we go. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magical spell. Anything can enter through this seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. So I guess that might be what happens if I fight, absorb the monster's souls, become strong enough to break the barrier. But that would mean I have to kill the monsters, which kind of goes against freeing them. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped forever. So how the hell did I get here? I mean, I guess I'll be able to leave, but not without... Oh, hey, those mushrooms finally do something. 
but not without a soul as strong as seven humans. Which I guess is what Undyne is trying to do. Kill enough humans and... I... Special enemy Timmy. She's... So shake. Um... Are you okay? Hello? Hoi! I'm Timmy! What- what the he- okay. Um... That's your hand? Your hand can just do that? Oh, hey, sorry about that cut there, I, uh... Unexpected circumstances? I had to restart the battle, but anyway... Apparently if you just let her sit there long enough, her face vibrates... All the way over there. It just keeps going, too. I, I came back a little earlier, uh... The first time that I restarted, um, and her face was, like, on the other side of the screen. But anyway... So hungry... dies. But she didn't die, thank god. Oh god, what is this? It's so happy! Um... Uh, okay. Anyway, okay, that was unavoidable, but... Ah! Temi forgot her other attack. Spare. <laughs> I... okay. Um... Could she not lead me to her village? I don't know. Let's see if I find another Temi. Oh, wait. Oh, hmm. Okay. I have to go back. Which, I guess the backtracking ensures that you will encounter Temi. Because, like, it's a random battle, but with all this walking, it's bound to happen. But, oh man, did I miss something? I hope not. Because her village is, I guess, where you can sell stuff. But... I don't know. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. Okay. But what I care about right now is... Temi. Where did she go? Was there any way to... You know, okay. Let's see what happens here. No, it's not her. Man, all right. Well, I'm gonna flirt with this Jello. Oh God! Oh, it's suddenly terrifying. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I definitely feel like I missed something. Unhug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Just wiggle. Yeah, you're still terrifying though. <laughs> I do. I do respect your boundaries as a person or as a. Whatever the hell you are, but you're still terrifying. And I miss Temi. If there, I'm gonna after I finish this episode, I'm gonna like go experiment a little and figure out exactly if there's a way to get to Temi Village, because I'm not missing that portion of the game. Um, so we'll we'll figure it out off screen. But I don't know. I guess this episode's almost over. But. Uh, I don't want you guys to go quite yet. I'm a little scared of what might happen in this tunnel. There's a... there's a flower. Behind you. Technically that was to my left, not behind me, but uh... But uh... there she is. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Ah! You're not really giving me much of a choice. I think you're kind of going to tear it regardless. Now he's dead. <laughs> no? Man. You've got front row seats to her fight. With me. Wait. Who's she fighting? Oh, she's so nice. Look. I was like... Actually, th I actually thought she was gonna kill him. And she gave up fighting me. So that she could take him home. Wow. Alright. Undyne's actually uh, not so bad, I'm thinking. I mean, 
I didn't think she was evil to begin with, because none of the monsters are. Except maybe the fucking flower. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. This conversation's so anime. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh. Sorry. It's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Empty? I mean, I guess that's also if I fight, which, uh... Well, something's gonna happen when I step on this square, so why don't we tackle that next time? Because... I don't know. I couldn't think of a good enough reason, but I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll have thought of a reason by tomorrow. Even though I'll be recording the episode in like five minutes, not tomorrow, so... Doesn't, doesn't really work with that reasoning, but, uh... Bye.